New heat records were set Friday in Southern California as Santa Ana winds continued battering parts of the region, coupling with low humidity to increase the danger of wildfires. Thousands of residents were under consideration for power shutoffs in Los Angeles, Orange, Riverside and San Bernardino counties, Southern California Edison said Friday evening. The potential temporary shutoffs to avoid wildfire danger were being monitored for at least 48 hours. Downtown LA reached 88 degrees, breaking the record of 85 set in 2014, according to the National Weather Service. Long Beach hit 91 degrees, topping the daily record of 89 set in 1976. The NWS said the city's all-time high in January is 93 degrees, which was still within range if the heat persisted. In Orange County, Anaheim reached 92 degrees, breaking its 2014 record of 87. Santa Ana also reached 94 degrees, breaking its record of 89 degrees set in 1976. In the Inland Empire, Riverside reached 87 degrees, breaking its record of 84 in 2011, and Lake Elsinore hit 85 degrees, beating its record of 83 in 2014. A red flag warning of critical fire danger conditions took effect at 4 p.m. Thursday for the Santa Monica Mountains Recreational Area, Los Angeles County Mountains, Angeles National Forest and the Santa Clarita and San Fernando Valleys, along with inland Orange County and the Santa Ana Mountains. The warning had been scheduled to expire at 4 p. Friday, but the NWS extended it until 4 p. Saturday, and indicated it could be stretched into Sunday, primarily due to the high winds expected. Wind gusts of 30 to 50 miles per hour are anticipated across much of the affected areas this weekend, with humidity dropping to between 8% and 15%, forecasters said. And by early next week, wind gusts to 60 miles per hour are possible in valleys, and wind gusts to 65 miles per hour are possible in mountains, with isolated gusts of 70 to 80 miles per hour, an NWS spokesperson said at a 1 p. Friday briefing. Anytime you get winds over 60 miles an hour, it's a big concern, the spokesperson said. Even though our red flag criteria includes relative humidity below 15%, if you do get winds that are strong enough, even with relative humidities between 20 and 30%, once you get a fire started, and our vegetation is very dry right now, we haven't had any rain since November, and all of the fuel and vegetation are still very dry, you could still get some rapid fire spread, the spokesperson said. Earlier, the NWS reported that, strong high pressure aloft and moderate offshore pressure gradients will create periods of critical fire weather conditions through Saturday and possibly into Sunday. The highest fire weather risk will be today, Friday, across Los Angeles and Ventura counties. Winds are expected to drop off later this afternoon through the overnight hours, however the latest computer models indicate low humidities will continue through Saturday with winds increasing again early Saturday morning through afternoon, the NWS reported.